be all you can be. True, but the problem is a dream, only a dream. If work, don't follow it. Now, I don't want to preach about this one. But basically, if you want something, you got to go get it. Whatever the hell it is you want, you need to do something that will help you get towards whatever it is that you want. Now, I could stand here and talk and talk and talk about what you can do, but it's nothing unless you do something about it. So now you're probably asking, where do I start from? Let's look at the short-term goals and let's look at the long-term goals. Now, let's look at it in terms of fitness. If you're someone who's trying to get bigger or trying to cut, Remember that it will take time to get from point A to point B. Understand that it will take you hard work, determination, and discipline to get where you are right now to where you see yourself, whether it be two months down the road, whether it be a year down the road, whether it be five years from now. If you don't work towards it and be determined about it, then you won't get from where you are to where you want to be. So what is it truly that's holding you back from getting to point B? Now I understand we all have busy schedules. You go to school, you go to work, you have family, you have this, you have that. So do I. But remember, that's still not an excuse for you to get to where you want to be. Now let's look at it in a different way. If you're in a relationship, that's still not an excuse. Now if your significant other complains about, Oh babe, you don't have enough time for me. Like, like, like what's happening? You used to give me... You used to, you used to. All the time in the world, now you don't give me anything. Then understand this. You are in a wrong relationship. Your significant other should be happy for you and should motivate you to get from where you are to where you wanna go. Because if they're not there to support you at the end of the day, then they're holding you back from getting to your point B. So let's go back to the beginning of the video where I showed you that quote by Kendrick Lamar. It says, a dream is only a dream if work don't follow it. Now you can continue to dream each and every night. I want a car. I want the latest Beamer, I want a million dollars, I want to become famous. No matter what, if you don't work towards pursuing that dream and making it a reality, then you know what, do me a favor and just go back to sleep. People constantly tell me about what they want for the future, whether it be get rich, whether it be drive this, drive that, I want to be this. Remember, you ain't going to get it if you don't work for it. It's simple as that. You have space on your arm? Write it. Take a sharpie, write it. Every day is another opportunity to be a better you. So what you did yesterday won't matter if it's another day. You have another opportunity to be better, to do better, to do more than what you did yesterday. So who cares if you screwed up the day before? Don't you dare wait until New Year's Eve to set a New Year's resolution. Duh. New Year, new me. New Year, new this, new that. Remember, New Year's Day it's just another day, whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Let's say Saturday, Sunday as well. It's just another day. It's another day with another 24 hours for you to do whatever it is you want. Yeah, okay, maybe stores are closed and this and that. And it's a holiday or whatever. Okay, but it's just another set of 24 hours that you can make a difference in your life. Now, when you get to a point in life, where 24 hours isn't enough time for you in a single day, then know this, you're doing something right. So let's start by setting a simple goal. Could be anything, like brushing your teeth. Bro, do you even brush your teeth? Uh... Or simply doing the dishes. Now as you do this, gradually make your goals more challenging. This way, you would be more likely to succeed in your goals than you would have if you would have gone from zero to 100. Real quick. Real fucking quick.